Hello, KB3TQO. The handle here is Chris. Today I'd like to show you a dipole antenna that uh, works for 2 meters and 70 centimeters. It's a fun little project. Uh, I'm, I'm sure I'm going to be in a lot of trouble when uh, everybody figures out what I've done to do this project. Um, I'll get straight to the point and I'll show you. <clears throat> Alright, here's the antenna. Complete, ready to rock and roll. I was rooting around the medicine cabinet and found a bottle of ecstasy, so I dumped it down the toilet so I could use this uh, this pill bottle as a as a housing for the uh, for the antenna. So whoever's ecstasy that was isn't going to be happy. However, the kids aren't going to be happy over here either because I had to take apart their RC radios to get the mounting brackets out of them, so I could use their telescoping whips um, from their RC cars. Uh, so, uh, anyway, uh, well, they're not going to be playing with those anymore as I have myself this antenna, so no one's really figured out what's going on here yet, but we're not going to have happy campers. Anyway, if you look inside, there's the, uh, there's the brackets that came off the circuit board inside the radios. Um, and then, as I said before, here's the telescoping whips. Uh, PL259 on the bottom, and it's as simple as that. The antenna, the antenna at its shortest length is well over a half length of uh, 70 centimeters where I want it. Anyway, so not a problem, not a problem at all because uh, we can work with odd multiples of half wavelengths. So uh, we, we're just missing a half wavelength here, so not a biggie. We'll just bump it up to uh, one and a half waves. Changes the radiation pattern a little bit, but uh, still just as efficient. For the 70 centimeter band. Now with two meters, this thing is perfect. It's dead on. Uh, and no problems at a half wave uh, throughout the entire band. And we can get a perfect one to one <clears throat> most of the time. Uh, you know, depending on uh, what surroundings I have around me uh, and uh, other environmental uh, effects. Anyway, so next I'm going to put it on the analyzer. I want to show you this thing. It's pretty cool. Uh, after the analyzer, we're going to go ahead and uh, put it on the air. We'll uh, try to make contact with somebody on the uh, Whiskey 3 Alpha Charlie Hotel repeater here in Chambersburg. And uh, we'll see what it sounds like on the air. Okay, now for the purposes of this demonstration here, I've simply mounted the antenna onto the shovel in the backyard here and ran some a small length of LMR 400 to it and we are horizontally polarized so that's gonna make a difference off the bat but anyway I've got us hooked up into the analyzer here right around the frequency that we're gonna be using uh, doesn't look half bad I did lie though because I said we were gonna get a perfect one-to-one -one, but you know what I also said that uh, things were gonna be uh, affected by the environment as well so anyway that's as low as we're getting I've been finagling a little bit with the length and, uh, well, where we are right now, we're not going to get lower than a 1.5. So, anyway, uh, like I said, it, it did take me a minute to get the length of the uh, antenna uh, situated for use, anyway. And, uh, so that's that. Anyway, here we go. Now I'm going to plug us into the uh, radio, and we are hopefully going to make a contact. And we'll see what this thing sounds like on the air, even though it's horizontally polarized. Okay, now, here we are. We've got the radio all hooked up on the shovel. I mean, I'm sorry, we've got the antenna all hooked up on the shovel. And we've got the radio hooked up in this portable kind of setup like uh, manner here. And I'm sitting out back on the back porch. And uh, we're going to see what we can do here as far as making contact with somebody on 2 meters. So let's, uh, let's give it a go. KB3 TQO testing. I'm not getting anybody just yet. 
That's always nice to see on the uh, SWR meter, though. There's absolutely nothing, not even a sliver of uh, SWR on there. Not that the radio is showing, anyway. Kilo Bravo 3, Tango, Quebec, Oscar monitoring. I think we're going to need some volume. N3 TWU KB3 TQO. How are you doing, Ray? Pretty good, Chris. I don't have such a good signal here right away, but uh, I'm going to move my antenna around a little bit. Yeah, okay, very good. Uh, you're coming into the repeater fine anyway. There is a little bit of noise, but nothing terrible. I'm uh, testing out a uh, dipole that I've just built. Uh, how copy on my end? Uh, well, I guess it's you're not going to know until you're in a better spot. What do you think? N3TW, I'm not getting the repeater that great, so, uh, but I am, I'm aim, am able to copy you. So, uh, I'm just the wrong guy to get the S3 report from right now. Uh, Lita says that you talk to her more than she does. So I guess we have to explain why. Alright, very good. Uh, stand by one. Yeah, Roger, Roger. I wish we could go simplex. Uh, I really want to test this antenna out. I'm uh, horizontally polarized right now, and uh, well, it seems to be doing the trick anyway. We're certainly uh, we're communicating here. Yeah, Chris. I tell you what, that last communication was pretty good. Uh, I just there's a little bit of steam in the background, but that's probably me. I've got my uh, whip antenna back on, and I've got it running up through a bunch of metal. Uh, uh, devices, several of which are on. Yeah, okay, very good. Hey, tell you what, I gotta take care of something real quick. Are you gonna be around for a bit? N3TW, yeah, I've got my uh, front door open, but uh, I'm gonna be here a bit. I'm trying to raise Ken. He wants to borrow the antenna analyzer. Ah, uh, very good. It sounds like he's up to something. Sounds good. Okay, I'll be uh, I'll be back on the repeater here in a bit. N3 TWU uh, KB3 TQO 73s temporarily. All right, TQO. This is N3 TWU N3 TWU calling KB3 YSU. Okay. Well, you can see that the uh, antenna works. I wish I could have gone simplex with them. But he's uh, a bit distant, so I don't know that that's going to work. But anyway, I do have something to take care of. Uh -huh. 